guys, welcome to this brand new career mode where I am going to fly over to Spain, replace Gary Neville and the shit job him and his brother did, and I am going to bring back Valencia, the Orangers. We're going to have a transfer budget of about 45 million, that's going to be tight. The board expectations, they're, they're okay, medium, medium, high brand exposure, so obviously we've got to do well in the pre-season tournament. But this is such a great club. They are six-time league winners in Spain. They've won the Europa League. They've had a Champions League final against Real Madrid. Unfortunately, they lost, but they're a huge Spanish giant. And at the minute, they are sleeping pretty heavily. When your club is in doubt, you pull out the Sir Zoot Man. If you're from the Bristol City career mode, this is a different reality. You know, you can have two jobs. It's okay. And he's going to wear a shirt and tie this time. Uh, we're going to play this on Legendary. Five minutes. Estadio Mastala. Oh, they have the stadium on here. Brilliant. Or is it just named after it? Hopefully they've got the stadium on here. It's a great stadium. Beautiful. Right, I've got my pre-season invites for tournaments. Let's see what we got. Okay, 7 million, 7 million, 7 million. Okay, there's so about absolutely no difference in any of this. So I'm going to go to the nicest location. We're going to go to Italy. Here I am, sat in my new office chair in my new job. Let's have a look at the team. All right, Luis Nani. Uh, Valencia fans. I don't know what it's like for you, Valencia fans, but... As watching him for years at Manchester United, I know he can be the most inconsistent player in the world. However, he also has the potential to be, you know, he had the ability to be one of the best players in the world. He really did. He showed sparks of brilliance. Rodrigo, not too happy about that as our striker. What's other striking options? Ew. That's something I've got to look at. A right back playing right wing. Interesting. Danny Trejo. Oh, yes, Danny. Danny, Danny, Danny. Oh, God. So that's where this mess ended up. Mangala, you donkey. Okay, their default tactics are revolting. Look at that. Speed 44, passing 45. This is, there's nothing about them. No wonder they're doing shit. All right, so there we go. I've implemented my own style onto the tactics. There's me. That'll be done throughout the training sessions. Get my style implemented on this team. All right, I'm switching to the 4-2-3-1. We're leaking goals at the minute. I've got to stop that. The 4-3-3 may come back another season's time. It may come back in six months' time. But for now, 4-2-3-1. That's how we're going to stop the goals leaking. We're going to strengthen this middle. We're going to get a foundation down this centre. I've given Danny Prejo the captaincy. I've had a chat with Danny and I said, look, as long as you can put down the shisha pipe, we're good. You can have the captain's armband. Whatever the fuck a shisha pipe is, just, just put it down in public. All right, guys, I've had a good look at the squad and I've decided my main priorities for this team. Now, it's a good squad. It's got a good foundation to it. I like the players in there. It's got some good experienced players. It's got a decent spine. I'm not happy with Rodrigo. Strike up front. Big position that striker up front is, especially in the 4-2-3-1 and in the 4-3-3. I want a player that's going to be young, upcoming, that we can that can become a star in that striking position, that can be tall, that can run, that can dribble, that can do everything. Defensive mid. I want I want some ball playing midfielders. I want someone to, to take control of the midfield, some passes, interceptions, because it's a bit more technical, the Spanish league. I want a promising centre back to add into the defence. I like to have about four centre halves that I like to use. And I would like a promising attacking midfielder besides Danny Parejo. So that is my main priorities at the minute. As well, bearing in mind with these targets, we are not in the Champions League. We are not in Europa League because of how poorly Valencia finished last season. We're a big club, but right now we don't have the financial power or the luxury of Champions League. So the draw for players is not massive. So we can't be buying off the big teams. We can't be taking their star players. So we've got to look towards youth. That's where we're going to get our players. All right, guys, I've just set up training for what I think these guys have got good potential. And I think if these can get a little bit better, they'll be really useful for the squad. Medran, I think he's got quite good potential. So what I like to get up is dribbling. His passing's quite good. So get his dribbling up. Cartabia, 84 dribbling, 80 ball control, really good. But uh, his stamina is shit. So you can never have too much dribbling as a right mid. So get his stamina up a little bit. Cancelo, uh, I'd like to play him at right back. Uh, I'd like to have a creative right back. So if we can get his defending stats up because his dribbling stats are really good. Ryan seems to be a really good goalkeeper. Looks like he's got great potential. So I'll get him trained up. So we can slowly have a battle between him and Diego Alves. And Munir is, uh, needs to get his ability up and in finishing and shot power. Uh, he needs to be a bit more deadly than he is right now. Okay, so let's see how that went. A, C, B, C, D. Nice. We've got a transfer budget of 73 million. That's decent. That's decent. I don't know where that's come from. I don't know why it suddenly just shot up. All right, we have got to play a game against Cologne. But I'm going to try and sim this one. I think we'll be able to sim this game. They're all pretty similar level teams. But hopefully a sim will get us through. It'll let me know whereabouts they are on the sims anyway. 3-0. Lovely stuff. 
two goals from Cartabia and Munir bags a goal. Stop, stop so I can get a training session in. Damn it! Ugh, I hate it when it does that. All right, guys, these are the targets I have come up with. Let's go from the bottom to the top. Nicholas Stark, center half, Germany, plays for Hertha Berlin. Now, that's a team we can buy from. They're a lower German side. They're not in the Champions League and stuff like that. Um, he's got good potential. He's a ball-playing centre-off, and I think that's what we could do with. Very good, young, hopeful German centre-off, so we'll keep an eye on him. The centre-defensive mid-positions, I've got two here. I've got Gonzalo Escalante. He plays for a team in Spain, uh, SD Ibar, but his stats are very decent also. He's got 83 interceptions, 81 composure. I like that. I like a guy who's composed on the ball in the midfield. 87 stand tackle, he will rip it off you. Shot power's quite high as well, he's got good foundations, I like him a lot. The other centre defensive mid, Olkai Yukuslu, uh, we've not finished the scout report on him yet, 22 years of age, again, very, very wealthy in the green areas. He plays for Trapunspor in Turkey, so again, another team that we'll be able to buy from. He's six foot three as well, so he adds a bit of physicality and height into our team, and he's not slow, but he does come with 84 to 92 strength, so he's a bit of a beast. Memphis Depay, well, everyone knows Memphis Depay, and everyone knows that he's not really hit the heights at Manchester United. Under Mourinho, he's never really got much game time, a lot of talk of him leaving. And I think the perfect place for him to come would be Valencia. What a great place for him to rebuild his career. No Champions League football, we're solely focusing on the league. Learn some technical stuff in Spain, and I think he'll be a great addition for that left side, swapping in and out with Nani. Young Ukrainian Cam, and he's a bit of a do-it-all. I mean, his stats there, you can see a lot of brown, and you're thinking, er, poo. However, those stats will flourish. He's in behind Danny Prejo, so I'm not I'm not buying him to say, come on, do something this season. And I'm buying him to go onto Danny's wing, smoke a bit of dashisha pipe, and they can slowly play amazing football together. Finally, this is the man I have chosen. Very, very important position. The striker position. A man who I think will be able to do it all. I've got a lot of question marks there still. He's 5 foot 11. That's a great middle height. He can do everything at that height. Finishing 86 to 94. He can already put the ball in the net. Attacking positioning is very high as well. So instantly he's a poacher. The rest we can work on. So I'll put a bid in for the guys that we've got. So Escalante, we've got 9 million pounds here for him. I'll go ahead and offer them 11 million. Because we're the same league as these, we may have to pay a little bit extra than they normally would do because we're buying off the same, t same league. Blech. Right, Depay, this guy could be the shirt sales guy. So um, it's quite ideal that we bag him. Um, 17 million. Okay, I'm going to use this opportunity to get rid of Santi Mina. 16 million. I think that's a good, fair offer for Memphis Depay. Squad rotation player as well, so here's one that could sell shits. All right, we're up against Spartak Moscow. Again, I feel like I could sim this one. I really do. I'm in transfer mode. We can always save ourselves if we do lose this game. We can play the next one. But come on lads, get the three points. I know you're capable. 3-1, lovely. See, I see an ambulance. I don't like the look of that. I'm not happy with that ambulance. What does this mean? Immediately run to my office and find out that... Oh god, nine days. <laughs> okay, Nicholas Stark, 4.7 million. Okai Yakuslu, 6 million. Good price, good price. 6 million, I can see. All of these are pretty well-priced guys. And then Andrea Bellotti... 12.5 million. We're going to offer them 4 million. There's 4 million for your boy. We can pick him up for that. That's a really good deal. There's 6.9 million. Over to you, Trapunspor. Now, Viktor Kovalenko, they say this deal looks like it could happen. That usually means just offer base value. Let's try that. 6.5 million. Andrea Bellotti. Probably worth 15 to 18 million. Aya, caramba. There's 16.7 million for Torino to mundle over. Mundle, that's not a word. All right, finally got another training session squeezed in there. Munir gets an F. Uh, Bakalai snuck in there because some guy's hurt himself. Lovely. SD Ibar have accepted the offer for Gonzalo Escalante. Let's have a look. 25k you want? I accept. Four-year deal. Let's see how he feels about important first-team player. Sign the dotted line, my man. Let's do this. Manchester United are pissed off. They want 25 million. They're interested in the player. That's okay. Okay. 8 million. Wow, you've doubled my offer, you motherfuckers. Right, let's deal with the accepted ones first. 50k, four-year deal. Crucial first-team player. You are. You're my main man. You're the star. Okai Yukuslu. Let's deal with this guy. He wants 30k. They're quite greedy, these bastards are. Four-year deal. Again, let's try an important first-team player for the centre defensive mids. Right, now let's deal with the non-negotiating pricks. Berlin indicate they want 8 million. 6.8 million. Balls in your court, Berlin. 
Alright, Memphis Depay. Hmm, 30 million. 21.5 million. Let's just let's shake on that. Right, I'm going to dare to fly and sim it against Genoa again while we get these transfers sorted out. Go on, boys. I like it when we're on the left. I feel like we're at home. I always feel confident when we're on the left. 4-0. I have that. What an easy group. Smashed it. Go on, Nanny. Right, let's whack another training session in there. And it's an A for Cartabia. He's, he's really loved me since I've taken over. He's been on fire. He's training well. I love you. <gasps> oh my god, Shakhtar Donetsk received a 7 million bid for Viktor Kovalenko, we must move fast. 7.5, quickly, quickly, write the signature. Transfer offer for Matthew Ryan, no, 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 good backup goalkeeper. Here we go, Gonzalo Escalante is our first signing of the Valencia career mode. 23 year old, 78 rated centre defensive mid, 11 million, we got an alright deal on him. Signed and off and completed. Okay, we can also sign Andrea Bellotti. He is also coming to us. 79 rated, 22 year old, the star man up front. I really hope he is good. I need him to be. And as well, another centre defensive mid to pack out that midfield. Okai Yukuslu has also accepted his offer. Another young Turkish midfielder. Lovely. Oh my god, this is great news. Memphis Depay could be on his way because Manchester United have accepted 21.5 million. He wants, he wants to break the 100k mark. Bloody... Twat. Uh, could we mess with him and say important first team player? I think we could with Nani being in his place. Yep, we'll go with that. Important first team player. See what he says. Big shirt sale guy. Right, it's the semi-finals of the European International Cup. We are against Crystal Palace. I feel like I can sim it. I feel like we've been simming it all the way through these teams. And I feel like we've got a good strong side. I'm going to put Bellotti in there in the striking position. Get us some debut goals, Bellotti. I'll sort your number out soon. Three nearly bags of goal in his debut as well. Lovely stuff. We're into the final. What? You? Who? Fuck's sake. Who's in talks with now? Sh Eight million. It keeps going up. Ay, cramba. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Oh, God. This high demand for this guy. Are we even going to be able to afford him once we wrap up the Depay deal? We can't go past 21 million. Otherwise, we won't be able to get Depay. So 8.5 million again. No one else bid for him now. Stop it. Oh, we got extra 2.7 million. That's useful. We need that. Oh, here we go. Huge news. Memphis Depay has accepted. Here we go. Oh, God, it leaves us with 10 million. We're not going to be able to get, get Kovalenko. <gasps> I'll, I'll come up with something. I'll come up with a plan. Don't worry about it. But this is big. Memphis Depay, a great place for him to start his career over. He wants 100,000 to do it. Greedy bastard. Memphis Depay. Finally, we've got an offer accepted and we can talk to him in the contract negotiations. Squad rotation. But this will leave us a bit tight for cash, really. Lads, I was just thinking, what the hell happened to Stark? Shit, I forgot to offer him a contract. Oh my god, what am I doing? Here we go, 20k, four-year deal, important first team player there. I can't believe I didn't offer him a contract. Right, I've just realised, because Stark's not gone through yet, I thought it had. We're going to need some money. We're going to need some money back because we're left with about... 2 million. So we need to get someone out of here. Negredo's loaned out, but that's 13 million I could have had. It only cost him 400,000 to recall him. <gasps> Let's be naughty. Fuck it. Right, we've recalled him. Get him on the transfer list. Ha! Right, so hopefully someone comes in for those players. It's the final against Genoa. Let's do this. It's time to play this. Alright, this is the team I'm going with. Belotti's up front. Danny Prejo is at number 10. Memphis Depay is going to come in for his debut on the left. Escalante and Medren are in the midfield with Luis Nani pushing over to the right side. Montoya, Garay, Adebenor and Gaia with Diego Alves in goal. We've got a good strong bench. We've got lots of options on there. Gaia into Escalante. Danny Prejo shifts it out. Montoya, he's got a lot of space already. Shifts it back. Shot! Oh, just whizzes past the post. Nani cuts it inside. What's his options? Finds Bellotti. Bellotti shoots! Good save! A corner again for Preo. Adebenor, get over there! Guy! Oh! Chest it off the line and then DDT'd! Here goes Memphis Depay, his first few touches in Valencia. Danny Preho shoots! Goal! What a finish from Danny Preho, the captain! That is gorgeous! Memphis Depay flings the ball through to him, takes one touch, bang! Top bin! Escalante. Escalante dinks it in behind. Danny Prejo running for it. Blocked. Headed it down. Bellotti. Oh, that's terrible. Finds Bellotti. Swings it wide. Memphis Depay. Cuts inside. 
Memphis Depay still got it. Shoots from range. Oh, good save. Nanny gets there. Swings it in. Again, it's punched away. Oh. Ah, ah, ah. We're being taken on everywhere. Ah, offside ref, please. Oh, Diego Alves has saved us. Thank you, Diego. I apologise for my disastrous defending. It's time to get a, a fresh centre off on. Adebeno, for some reason, is shattered. What the fuck's wrong with him? And we'll get Yakuslu on. We'll get a look at him. Yakuslu. Pink. Oh my god. Gorgeous ball. Rodrigo cuts inside. Shoots. Oh, save. Get led to pipe. What? What? Swing it in. Oh, that's straight at the goalie. Inside. Mario Suarez rolls his man. Shoots. So I save. Prejo whips in the corner. Header. Shooter. In the goal from Galai. Beautiful volley. That rounds it off. We win the International Cup. Look at this volley. Bang. Through the legs. Off the post. There we go. Full-time whistle. We have won. That's good for brand exposure. We've ticked that one off the box. Sir Zootman shakes the hand of the shit opposition manager. Because they were crap. That's a great start. We got a good look at some of the new signings. Belotti looked okay. Danny Prejo was very good. Okai Yakuslu, what a ball he played. He looks great. Escalante can also pass the ball around beautifully. I like the lot of them a lot. Memphis Depay had some good moments in there. All of it's looking good. Looking really nice at the minute. Here we go, Danny. Lift that trophy for us. Woo! Right now, Belotti's here. Let's get him working on his dribbling and ball control. We'll get Okai Yakuslu working on his long pass, despite the fact he played an amazing ball. Let's just make sure he can do that every time. And the same for Escalante. We want those guys to be able to spray the balls anywhere we need them to. All right, good training session. It's an A from Yakuslu. Dribbling's gone up for Medran. Munez really close to going up on a few things as well. Lovely stuff. Niklas Stark has accepted. How much money do we have left? Oh, look at that. We even have 6.9 million left. Hopefully we can take down the wage budget enough so we can get um, Kovalenko as well. But there we go, Niklas Stark, another signing for the center of position. Kovalenko has accepted, and would you look at that? We managed to creep it in, and we go bankrupt, but we've done it. Okay, we'll get rid of Negredo, we'll get rid of the other center off. hopefully someone bids for him. But Viktor Kovalenko, everyone was after this guy's signature, he must be absolutely amazing. But that is it, we've got great foundations now in every position, youth to come through everywhere. We've got an offer for Santos. I'm going to request that they give us 4 million because we need all the money we can get right now. So if they could be a bit nicer and give us more money. Yes, we got an offer from Negredo. 10 million from Arsenal. We'll take it. Fuck it. We'll take it. Thank you for offering for Negredo. Yes! That was a great bit of business. Alright, let's get in another training session. It's an F from Yakuslu. Not happy with that. A B for Munir. He's shot up on two things. Lovely, my friend. Uh, they've matched it and gone ahead as well. Oh, it's good news all round on the transfer front. All right, let's slip another training session in there. And it's a B for Escalante, taking him up to 79 rated already. Lovely stuff. Lovely. Both players have sold. And that's money back in the bank for us. Beautiful. All right, and a final training session before our first game of the season. Belotti goes up and Medran goes up to 78 rated. Lovely stuff. Oh, yes, we hit our shirt sales target. 38 million. We did it. We couldn't have done it without you. Thank you, Valencia. We're all getting on. Happy chappy. Right, we've got a nice cosy budget now of 16 million and a 100k wage budget, so we still room for one more player. If you guys have any ideas for someone we may need, let's go have a look at the squad to see what he's looking like at the minute. Okay, up front we've got Balotti, he's now 80 rated, lovely stuff. We've got Rodrigo and Munir as backups to him. We've got Danny Prejo at number 10 and we've got his backup, Kovalenko. We've got Nani left wing, we've got Depay who can also play there, they'll be fighting for a place. We can also play Nani right wing and we've also got Rodrigo who can play there, Bakalai, Munir, Escalante and Medran are in the middle. We've got backup Yakuslu, we've got Perez, we've got Suarez. Left backs, we've good for left backs. Right backs, we've got Bantoya. Center off positions, we've got Mangala and Stark who we managed to sign. So we're looking pretty good. We've even got an amazing backup goalie at 80 rated which is lovely. So the team is strong, strong like ox. But if you still have any ideas for where you think we could do with an extra player, you let me know. I'll have a look into it. All right, guys. Thank you for watching this episode. I hope you stick around to see more of this series. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more FIFA 17 career modes. I'm Zootman. Hope you have a great day. La 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 la.